how can I use my money to best pay off my mortgage? Your first one, I want you to put in our mortgage for $150,000. That's how much we're borrowing. A 30-year mortgage at 7%. So how much is your payment for the, um, the first one? All right, we'll just truncate it $997. That's good enough. How much interest are we paying on that mortgage? $209,000. $263. So we just borrowed $150,000 and after 30 years at 7% we're paying an additional $209,000. So what did our home cost us? $350,000. Yeah, I was really surprised on how when you borrow $150,000 how the interest over 30 years becomes more than your initial loan. What I like about this like lesson is that I'm able to break down each mortgage payment easily and you know it's understandable how I can you know add money and add years to every problem I'm trying to solve or what money I want to save. Let's see what we can do to maybe bring that overall payment down. Let's add, let's say that you can afford on that nine hundred almost thousand dollar payment, you can probably afford about twenty bucks more a month. You think you could scrape up twenty dollars a month? We now are paying this mortgage off on 1040. So we've saved about two years of time, right? So all we did is put an extra 20 bucks onto our mortgage. We've dropped it by two years and we've saved $20,000 from the original mortgage. I found this lesson really interesting because I realized how in the future, if I just take an extra $20 at the end of the month and add it to my payment, it, I could save me a lot of money on how much I would be paying for the interest, total interest payment. This time, let's say that we come up with, you get a bonus at the end of the year, $1,000 every year. By taking our annual bonus, which we get, assuming we get it every year, and applying that just one time, we have saved $50,000 in interest from the original, and we've cut our mortgage by six years. I found it most interesting about this lesson, the breakdown of how $1,000 each year could take the total payment of interest down by at least $50,000. I just found it really interesting about how if I set aside $1,000 a year that the loan will dramatically drop and that that'll only help my family in the long run.